give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. For have not I declare that the whole earth shall be filled with my glory. I've spoken and said that the whole creation is groaning, waiting for the adoption of sons. Knowing this hour that even as I pierced the side of Adam and caused the bride to come forth, even as I pierced the side of my son and caused the bride to come forth, know that in this hour I'm piercing the nations, that my church, that my house might come forth. Know that in this hour that the church shall become called that which is borderless, for Bethel shall arise in this hour, the place where God is, the place where God arises. Borderlessness shall be the sign of the coming forth of my kingdom. For certainly in places that are uncommon and places that are not called my house shall come the arising of the sign of the Lord, the hand and manifestation of the almighty God in this hour. For know my people that I'm creeping into all of the places of the world and the nation shall arise and flow into that which is called Bethel. And they shall declare that the Lord he is God they shall declare that the hand of the Lord stretches out throughout all of the earth and there shall none be able to withstand the glory of my presence. For know that in this hour I'm piercing once again. I'm causing the oil to come forth. I'm causing the waters to flow. I'm causing the breaking of the dam in this hour. I'm causing the manifestation of my word and its power in this hour. Know that I'm reforming and I'm correcting know that I'm realigning, I'm reestablishing, and there shall emerge fresh leadership, there shall emerge fresh praise, there shall emerge fresh glory, for I'm breaking, I'm breaking, I'm breaking the old, and I'm bringing forth the new, for I call this a new day, I call this the day of Bethel, and Bethel shall not be a place, for the places shall be broken, 